if one was to ever look at all of the short stories um, and even the novels that I have written in the past, if they were to somehow just compile them together and go through it, um, they would notice a very um, recurrent theme throughout my work. Um, they notice a lot of the same kind of tropes and ideas, uh, a lot of the same, really a lot of the same stories just rehashed in different ways. Um, and I often um, find myself a little bit worried of that. I find myself um, at times a little bit um, fearful that, uh, wow, if someone ever comes across these stories here, well, they're going to notice it's kind of the same thing. They're all sort of the same thing. Um, but then I, I need to remind myself that people are probably only ever going to see a handful of these stories. Um, anything that I've written before probably the past year or so, um, definitely for short stories, anything written before probably the past maybe year, um, no one's ever going to see. Uh, they're just simply not up to a quality that I'm proud of and that the world will ever notice. And so as I go through this new draft here, what I'm thinking about a lot is the idea that I, I've sort of told this type of story before. Um, and in fact, my critique partners will probably say that at some point. Um, but again, what they what they see is not what the world's going to see. Um, say this story right here that I'm writing, if that one gets published, um, that'll be the only one you've ever seen in my work that discusses these ideas and these themes. Um, the other maybe dozen or so are gone, are, are, are just locked away on a computer somewhere, will never be seen by anybody. Um, and so it'll be fresh. It'll be a fresh idea. It's not an idea that need that I've, that I've rehashed a million times. It will be fresh and it will be interesting. And I have to keep telling myself that because I'm in a stage right now in the story where I'm exploring pretty much the same ground as I have before. In fact, I've actually cut out of one story that I wrote before and pasted it into this one, um, some of my prose, because it just works so well for this particular story. Um, and so what's going to happen eventually is this one will be hopefully the one that gets out there, the one that the world sees. And that'll be that. Um, there'll be no need to ever re to kind of retread the same ground ever again. Um, and kind of amazingly, um, it'll stand out. This being the only story that I ever, that ever covers the subject that I'm discussing in this particular piece, um, will be fresh. It'll be new. It will be, um, something awesome and so that's my goal that, that, that that's sort of my hope with this and that's sort of what I keep telling myself whenever I get into a stage kind of like I am now where you know that, that little voice inside me is like man you've discussed this before you talked about this before you've you've tread on the same subject area before um, I haven't as far as the world knows, I haven't. And I think for anyone that, that fears that, who hasn't had stuff published yet, it, it's, it seems like a waste of time to worry about, um, you know, sort of beating that dead horse with your work, right? If no one else has seen it, it's new. If the public has never witnessed it, it is as fresh a new story as anything could be. And so I encourage you um, to kind of keep that in mind as you go about your work. It's okay if you're unpublished to, to kind of rewrite the same thing a bunch of different ways. Um, eventually one will get picked up, hopefully, and no one will have ever known that there was multiple stories discussing this. No one will ever grow tired of it because it'll be the only one.